Wood is the material of choice for exterior decks and porches. But on closer inspection, your durable wood surface is a network of tiny pores that can absorb water, swell, and crack, which can make long-term maintenance challenging. Now, with WeatherShield Flex, you can lock out the water to keep your wood protected. It also quickly transforms your exterior plywood deck or porch into a watertight, flexible surface, ideal for your favorite Beauty Tone spreadable stone coating. Just install the easy three-layer WeatherShield Flex deck system for a lasting protective underlayment that's incredibly tough, resilient, and watertight. On this video, we're going to apply the WeatherShield Flex system to this surface and show you how simple it is to protect your own plywood deck or porch. Let's get started. To perform your project, you may need some or all of the following items. Flex rubber membrane, flex reinforcing fabric and mesh seam tape, caulking or polyurethane foam to fill larger holes and gaps, a paintbrush and scrapers, roller covers and masking tape, as well as sandpaper, a sanding pole, vacuum, utility knife, and scissors. To help ensure effective long-term performance of the WeatherShield Flex system on your plywood deck or porch, and the decorative finish to follow, the following important guidelines are strongly advised. The surface needs to be clean, free of previous coatings, and in good repair. Your deck or porch must be structurally sound with adequate slope for water runoff. The plywood surface should be at least 5 8 tongue and groove on 16 inch joists. Support posts should ideally be anchored below the frost line to avoid frost heaving of the deck structure. As a rule, we strongly recommend that both sides and all edges of the plywood on your deck or porch be coated with flex to halt moisture vapor penetration from below. So, if you will be installing plywood as part of your overall project, this is an excellent opportunity to coat the backs of your plywood sheets before they are installed. And your wood must be dry. A moisture meter should be used to verify that moisture content of your wood is no more than 15%. To remove previous coatings, remove no glaze, or just shave off incidental dirt and other deposits, uniform light sanding is an effective way to condition the surface for coating without introducing water. It also adds a light profile for better bond. Use sandpaper between 100 and 120 grit for best results. A sanding pole attachment, as shown, is also recommended to allow you to work from a comfortable standing position. With sanding completed, it's time for a thorough vacuuming. You need to remove all sanding dust to ensure reliable adhesion of WeatherShield Flex to your plywood. Before proceeding with your WeatherShield Flex application, this is the time for important due diligence in filling all larger holes, gaps, and seams in the deck structure to ensure watertight performance of the entire system. The first step is to caulk all larger seams, gaps, and small holes. Use the highest quality caulking you can find for this step. Here we are using WeatherShield's best 35-year caulking. With your bead of caulk applied, immediately follow with a scraper or your finger to ensure effective penetration of all voids. That also includes screw and nail holes, post edges, and anywhere else water will try to find its way in. For larger holes, like these against the side of the house, caulking is not sufficient. So instead, we are using WeatherShield Expanding Polyurethane Foam. This will help keep water and other matter from traveling down between the wall and the edge of the deck surface, possibly causing problems later on. Music 
Now we come to the all-important step of treating the seams where your plywood sheets join. Exposed moving seams in your plywood can cause a host of problems. Isolating the seams will guard against water penetration and discourage cracking in any surface finish that follows. Treating wood seams with Weather Shield Flex is easy. Just brush or roll a generous coat along the seams. Try to lay down flex at about 1 16th of an inch thickness. Then all you do is embed Weather Shield Flex seam mesh tape into the wet rubber. And flatten it down with a scraper. With that done, immediately brush on more flex to completely conceal the mesh. Feather out the coating along the edges, and that's all there is to it. Repeat until all seams are treated in the deck surface. This is also a great time to fill any small holes or other imperfections as you move along. Once again, Coat your seams, embed the mesh, flatten, and top coat. Your seams will now be flexible, waterproof, and extremely durable, with very high resistance to tearing and breakage. Later on, when the flex rubber coating is dry, trim off any excess mesh with a utility knife. Before proceeding with application of flex to the remainder of the deck surface, remove any debris and also trim away any patching material. If you used expanding foam, trim off and remove excess foam with a utility knife. If you haven't already done so, this is also the time to mask any adjoining surfaces you wish to protect. Durable 2-inch masking tape is ideal. 